Cambridge on a Thursday night. Can have a look at the late quaddy on races six, seven, eight, and nine, and what you may need to play into the late quaddy. Of course, race number six is our feature. It's a size stakes heat number two. And it features the two Barry Purden train runners and Montana DJ and Major Perry. Let's go back to April. Have a look at the size stakes heat with East feature and run first and third. In front is Montana DJ. In the trail is Major Perry as they turn home. Major Perry gets up the inside and runs past Montana DJ. They burn a pretty quick quarter, 27 seconds off the gate. And Major Perry got the better of the trip in this trial. Uh, you can see uh, back in the field, Classy Operate end up running back second last. But I thought Major Perry... He had a trial with Montana DJ on Saturday. They both worked together. I thought he worked slightly the better, so I'll lean over him. Six over the uh, five over the four. Also, wouldn't leave out the six. Blame it on tonight. But Major Perry, race six, number five, the one to beat. Got to race seven, second leg of the quaddy. Bottom two down the bottom of the book. You need both of them in your quaddy. Dal Sun and Phoebe Imperial. More so Phoebe Imperial because he loves 2,200 metres. Let's have a look at his last start run, 30th of September at Cambridge. Turning for home, you can see she reigns swooping on them out wide. That's Dal Sun in between them and the stablemates' colours. And just in behind them, about to flick to the inside, the tangerine is Phoebe Imperial. Hits the line really nicely. Uh, 2,200 metres is his go. Even off the back mark, does step cleanly. Race seven, number 10, Phoebe Imperial. Main danger, Dal Sun. If the real one turned up, he's got the ability to win. And, of course, runner number three, high on love. Let's go to race number eight. And I thought it was a really good bet on the night. It's number seven, Optical Illusion. Now, the bookmakers put up $4.20. He is possibly a rating special here. He, and along with Max Tomadu, rated the two highest in the field. Let's have a look at his workout from last Saturday at Cambridge. He was in heat number four. He's outside the leader as they turn for home, and he does it quite nicely. Not an overly quick time, but great work leading into a uh, to a Thursday night. Race eight, number seven, Optical Illusion. He's coming out of races last start behind Rough and Ready. Prior to that marathon, man, he's been in far better fields. Race eight, number seven, really like him as one of the bets of the night. Main dangers, the greatest showman in ideal Tomadu. Let's get to the last and what really does look a special for the night in Marathon Man. The reason I say this, his last two runs he's raced quite can go and copy that and the likes of Bad to the Bone. He drops into a rating 58 to 70. He's a 70. Luke Whitaker takes the drive. There's only four other opposition. I think race nine, number six, Marathon Man, the best of the night in the quaddy, and he's an anchor. Main danger, Brookie's Jaffa, if he finds the front. Summarising for you in the late quaddy, race number six, number five, Major Perry. He's the one to beat. Race seven, got to have the bottom two in. Dal Sun and Phoebe Imperial especially. Race number eight, Optical Illusion, would take the 420 in the third leg. And in the last, does look an anchor. Race nine, horse six, Marathon Man.